Hey, what's up everybody? It's Talos with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get Sony's newest Xperia weather app on almost any Android device. Now here in the US, Sony doesn't really promote their Xperia line, and a lot of times they don't even release them on every carrier. But Xperia devices are very popular across the rest of the world, and rightfully so, because Sony's got some beautiful hardware and their Android skin has a really nice UI. For a good example of that, their newest weather app is flat out gorgeous, with some nice material design scenery going on in the background. Well, developer Rocket Sauce over on X D A has actually ported this weather app, so now you can try it out on almost any device. To get this one going, you just need to have unknown sources enabled in settings under security, and you'll also need to be running Android 5.0 or higher. Beyond that, just head to step 1 in my full tutorial to grab a copy of the Xperia Weather APK. Then once you've done that, just tap the download complete notification to launch the installer. From here press install obviously, then just give it a few seconds to wrap things up. Now first up, the app will ask for permission to access your location, so go ahead and press allow on this pop-up. From here just give it a few seconds to find the nearest weather station and download the data. But like I said, this weather app is using some nice material design touches. It extends full screen and it even has a semi-transparent navigation bar at the bottom. You can tap the plus button in the top right corner to add a different city, and there's a slide out navigation menu on the left where you can switch between locations. But since this app is meant to be used on phones that aren't commonly sold in the US, the temperature is in Celsius by default. So head to the settings entry in the navigation menu if you'd like to change that. From here, it's easy to change the units with the temperature format option. And once you've done that, just head back out and it'll refresh automatically. Then the Xperia Weather app also comes with a pretty nice widget. So let me show you how that one looks. It's a 4x1 widget by default, which means you don't get much information about extended forecasts. But if you'd like to change that, just long press the widget then drag the corners to resize, and you can see that it actually shows more information once you've expanded it. So it's a pretty nice weather app, and I personally always like being able to get a taste of the software from other flagship phones. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.